Okay, when we're looking at uh, this question from 2019 paper 1, question number 4. Okay, we have two trolleys of masses, 400 grams and 200 grams, traveling on a smooth surface. Okay, so there's no friction. Huh? So take note of these uh, keywords. They are connected by a piece of string and a force for uh, 3 newtons, x on them as shown in the diagram. What is the tension in the string joining them? So the tension will be here. Okay, let it be T. Now, uh, we have two, this is a two-body problem, right? So therefore, uh, for each body, uh, we should draw the um, free body diagram and indicate the forces uh, clearly on each diagram separately. And we can analyze each diagram separately, which will give us uh, two equations uh, using uh, Newton's second law. Okay, so for the first body, 400 grams, Right, uh, well, when you calculate, make sure you use the, uh, the mass in kg, 0.4 kg. Right, the other mass will be 0 0.2 uh, kg. Okay, and then so for the first body, 400 grams body, the tension will be pulling to the right. Okay, so I'm going to write it as T. So later when we do our analysis, uh, we are treating this as this body. Okay, as having a tension T to the right, right. On the other hand, okay, the other body will be this <coughs> two hundred grams, okay, which has a force of three newton pulling directly on it. So here the tension on the two hundred gram body will be backwards, right, pulling backwards. So between the two trolleys, you can see there's a pair of action reaction forces. Okay, this tension. To the right, this tension to the left is a pair of action reaction forces. Right. So with these two forces, uh, these two free body diagrams, now we can write down the uh, equation. Uh, before that, we expect both to be moving to the right with an acceleration a. Okay. So we'll show it in the diagram. So to the right acceleration, uh, this is like our sign convention, uh, positive to the right. Therefore, for the first body, we can write down. Uh, using Newton's second law, net force equal ma, first equation, there's only one force tension equal to mass uh, m, m1, right, times the acceleration a, okay, and for the second body, again, we use uh, Newton's second law, uh, net force to the right also, because the acceleration is to the right, is 3 Newton positive, minus the tension equal to the mass uh, m2 different mass times the acceleration okay so if you look carefully uh, the only unknowns is t and a so if we solve the two equations simultaneously right we'll find our acceleration and tension okay uh, you can use elimination method that means uh, for example you eliminate uh, a and find t directly okay or you can use <coughs> um, substitution method, substitute one equation into the other to find the unknowns. Okay, sometimes uh, to find t directly might be a bit more complex, so I might want to find a first. Okay, so we're looking at the equation. There's always a minus t and a and a t here. So if I add the two equations, uh, that might help me to simplify my solution faster. Okay, one on uh, the left side of 1 plus the left side of uh, equation 2 give me 3 right equal to the right side of equation 1 plus the right side of equation 2 okay so that allows me to find what is acceleration after that I can substitute into uh, the first equation to find what is the tension okay so we can easily work it out work this out carefully and find that the answer to this question will be um, uh, 2 newtons okay friction or uh, tension will be 2 newtons answer will be C okay next we look at 2018 question number 4 paper 1 uh, this is a vector addition problem right you have three forces acting on the block Okay, so and it's a block is at rest. Right, so first force come to our mind is weight. 
the diagram normal contact force that supports it and this is a normal contact force huh? so it will be normal or perpendicular to the surface which is the slope and because it's at rest uh, to keep it at rest there must be a frictional force along the surface here frictional force F okay so there are three forces acting on it so which diagram uh, there are three vector diagrams showing the addition of these three forces uh, F W and N represents our three forces correctly so uh, we can draw it separately or one uh, good method is to actually draw it on this uh, diagram using this corner here this corner of the slope okay yeah because this corner of slope uh, it corresponds to the forces direction huh? so this could be weight okay uh, okay before that net force huh, on this object must be zero because it's at rest therefore if I will draw a vector triangle I expect to obtain a closed vector triangle of these three forces so on the left corner here okay we have uh, first draw W right so now we can draw first force continue second force will be this N normal contact force and then the third force will be here uh, which is frictional force Okay, so these three forces form a closed vector triangle. Uh, in terms of angle, right, if you look carefully, uh, this 30 degrees here, right, is, is from the right angle triangle like this. And this smaller triangle that we have drawn at the corner, this 90 degrees. Okay, so actually this will be 60 degrees and therefore we obtain the angle 30 degrees inside our little triangle. Uh, if we have drawn this uh, vector triangle separately, it's also possible that our triangle uh, could be on the other side as well. Okay, so it could also be this triangle instead, right? Where the thirty degrees will be here. Okay, and then uh, so this is another possible angle where this will be a frictional force, and this will be a normal contact force. Okay, right. So. The triangle could be uh, this triangle here, or could be this triangle. They are equivalent, right? So you just look at the options and choose the best option. Okay, so the answer here, option will be B. Okay, we have uh, another two-body diagram, uh, where we have look, look at three-body diagram. We have look at the uh, vector resolution as well. Okay. The 30 kg mass horizontal and both are on uh, smooth surfaces. Right, smooth surfaces so we can uh, neglect friction. Okay, uh, there's a string linking them so we can look at what are the forces here. There must be a tension here pulling 30 kg towards the right and 20 kg is coming down so we expect an opposite force tension T. Same tension because there are uh, in along the same string and also there's a smooth pulley there right okay so for each body we can draw a free body diagram like before okay so you consider this body by itself all the forces on it uh, or forces of interest okay and this body here forces of interest so two bodies uh, each body can give us at least one equation okay so for the first body 30 kg mass, right, using Newton's second law of motion, net force equals to ma. <coughs> okay, so we have tension here, T. Uh, there's no friction, so horizontally we we'll just have tension equal to the mass times the acceleration towards the right. Okay, the other object we expect to be moving down the slope, so the acceleration is the same. Uh, assuming that the string is taut all the time eh, they will move with the same acceleration both bodies so for the second body there's the normal contact force okay uh, but the normal contact force does not affect its motion along the slope okay but uh, the other force weight does right so weight will have an effect on this body so we are interested to analyze the forces along the slope okay so that's why i want to resolve the weight 
along uh, two perpendicular directions. Uh, so this, for example, I could draw a little uh, diagram here, this triangle here, just like the previous diagram. All right, I draw the diagram of the slope, and then I draw this tr triangle at a corner here. Uh, this allows me. Uh, this triangle is useful now to help me to resolve the force, the weight, along two perpendicular directions. The angle slope is thirty degrees. This is actually my 30 degrees here. Okay, this is a right angle triangle. So the component of the weight I'm interested here is Wx down the slope. Okay, so the weight W here has a component Wx uh, down the slope. So along the slope, using uh, Newton's second law of motion, uh, following the direction of the acceleration, which is down the slope. Okay, so the component of weight pulling it down the slope Wx minus the tension equal to the mass 20 kg times the acceleration. <coughs> okay, uh, this component of weight is actually uh, weight times if you look at the triangle over here carefully, right? This weight component is W sine 30 degrees. Okay, minus T equal to ma and this weight will be mg uh, m is 20 so it's 200 sine 30 degrees and use the calculator is 0.5 minus t equal 20a okay so just like uh, in the earlier previous question i have two equation first equation second equation first equation is t second equation minus t you can use a similar method to solve uh, both equations and to find out, uh, you can find T first if necessary, or if not necessary, you can also find A uh, directly, which is what is required in this question. Right? Okay, so do your calculations carefully. You find that the acceleration will be uh, 2. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, you can work out acceleration is 4, 4 meter per second. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you're finding acceleration. Uh, will not give us the answer yet. Uh, we still have the speed uh, that's released after uh, I understand that you have to find the speed after 2 seconds okay, after 2 seconds so from the acceleration you have to use a equation of motion okay, so speed is equal to u plus a t right, t is 2 seconds Acceleration is given, uh, initial speed 0, so you can find the speed and you find the answer will be 4 meter per second for the speed in this question. Okay, yeah, uh, so it's quite a long question, uh, it could be a structured question for that matter. Okay, so if you're not sure, you can also try to use the concept, uh, the approach, general approach. Uh, which we have uh, mentioned before, I C, okay, I for identify all the variables, uh, known, unknown, and the concepts I need to use, set up uh, when I write the equations for using Newton's second law, as well as the equation of motion, and you do your calculations very carefully, and finally, uh, evaluate answer, especially if this is a uh, a uh, structured question, be very careful with uh, several quantities um, to check right when you value answer, you check the significant figures, check the units, check the magnitude right, of your quantities and also check uh, significant figure and the sign as well. Okay, So this will be helpful especially if it's a structured question. Thank you.